This is the usual data, how it appears like for the budget. The months or the period will appear horizontally. Meanwhile, the account or the charges or the expenses plus the income or revenues it will be appear vertically. Whenever the numbers intersect, example, the meal for the February will be 300. This is how the data will look like. This kind of data is good for planning. When we want to do monitoring and control, that means we want to check the comparison between the budget and the actual. Usually, people will go and add a column and start copying the numbers from the actual and copy one by one. Beside that, they will need to add one more for the variance. Maybe they have one more for the delta, maybe it's for the percentage of the variance. This kind of work, it could be very tedious and it could be time consuming. Without doing all these things, we are able to do something different by using Excel effectively. Let's see how it works. The ideal situation will be something like this. The one on the left is the final result where the data has been massaged and compared between the budget, actual, plus the calculation for the variance and the percentage of the variance. Now what we can see for the January bank charges we are expected we are budgeted for 800 which is the same as per the table or the data on the right. If I change this one to 1000 and I save the file I go back to the Excel file on the left I just need to right click and refresh Excel will pick the file up and start doing the calculation then that is how it's capable to done. If the boss want to do more analysis based on this thing, it can be much more easier compared to the data on the right. This one is not easy. Example, the boss may ask, I want to know the variance for all the months or I want the variance for all the account or I want the cumulative or I want some other changes. So this kind of approach on the right, it will be very, very difficult. When we have massaged the data using Excel, it will be something like this. It's, this is much more easier. Let me show you how this can be done easily. We are able to use the pivot table to do further analysis easily. So I'm in the new pivot table. The boss may ask, I want to know the variance for all the months. This only 9 months data, so what we can see is here. The boss may ask, I want to know the variance for individual account. So I'm able to do so as well. The boss may want to know, I want to know the budget, actual and the variance for individual account. What we need to do is go to a pivot table and it's a budget, actual and variance. The boss may ask further question. I want to know the budget actual variance for individual account plus the month. So we just add the month to words on the top, which will be easier to read. Now I'm able to see the individual month, the budget, the actual and the variance. All these things can be done just by using drag and drop using pivot table. The very first step is it's required is to have the data structured in this way. 